a pick to deal with. That these two teams, very Hex Mava were going, but Critic on the Achilles. And Unity, you get that same like Tyr does. That in game, he decides to go more over in that solo lane. Is worried about they ban away the Discordia. Out of this pick, he had really solid the SEC matches. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wasn't the best. Oh no! Oh, he's out. Wow, Sod is going to live, I presume. Yes, you will. No hammer. What's the only warrior style of, of composition here? Are you hoping that you can pick someone out, maybe like this? Johnny's an afterthought. <laughs> who's who's expecting a four-man rotation at two? Breastplate of Valor, maybe hoping to get some Anvil of Dons going, get those ultimates back off of cooldown here shortly, because a team that loves to rotate. Think about where some of those kills came from. Going forward. Just ultimate slow. Okay, I've cleansed it. Good luck. Johnny. Johnny. Of it is uh, getting accomplished in your own. Oh. Pentaton face first. Good lord. And the Hawk and Johnny. Hex. Two and a half thousand gold all of a sudden for the Oni Warriors in the lead. And despite the kills going the other direction, this will help out a little bit. A pick on Awesome Jake. Naturally, it actually steps forward. Drops. Well, they're healthy. The silence. Johnny leaps away. Sot is up. Gotta be out of range. Kha'Zix sidesteps the ultimate. But has to sidestep the wall as well. Not enough damage from the Oni Warriors to come. Here in 30. Tier 1 tower. Ooh, watch out. Ooh, again. Through space and time out of mid. Doesn't hit. Jake fills the health bars up a bit further. Kha'Zix and Johnny are in. Goodness. Out of nowhere. The rotation from the Giannis. The assistance from the... Immediately. The dual lane dead. But Stygian and Beacon timing. It's... The only warriors are going to grab that one for themselves and the Hex Mambo. What do they get off their kills? They don't return the tower. They don't grab the Gold Fury. It's kills for kills sake. There's a way you can twist that to where you're right. They have not lost a set at all. Uh, this roster has. Grouping for the only warriors over on left. Could consider a Gold Fury at this point in the game if you talked a little bit about the objective potential of the team. Oof. Hawk, just wide. Well, they're still moving space up. in time, but still going to take those portals forward. Also, Earthen Fury gets used. Passive in lane. Awesome Jake and Netroid made their home on that Tier 1 tower, but Hex Mambo and their play on field were able to slow them down. Yep. How long can you keep the tide at bay? Not very long. Pyro postured a little bit more so towards the center of the map. SOT does have the teleport. We'll be able to join his team, but would have likely liked to have held that a little bit longer. Jake, that's a lot of damage. It is. A regurgitate from Johnny. It zones Jake. Sh shotgun blast out of Hawk. Catches out the hell. Now panatom has got to be concerned about where his exit path is. Julio, though, be careful. You're beneath the Tier 1 tower, and the rest of the only warriors can chase you down. The wall sets up for Pagon. We'll go one for one. Jake for Julio. Stygian Beacon, though. Looks like it'll be conceded over to Hex Mambo. So a small mid lane scrap ends up at a one for one. One for one, but TKO on two from the Oni Warriors into that engagement and also forced to use that ultimate. Might have been the difference maker that, that opens that door to Hex Mambo, but instead, it's Oni Warriors on reset to the Pyromancer. Ooh. Flip a coin. Weighted coin for the Oni Warriors. Restricted to, to hang, hang in that back line. No, Dave, you... Stop teasing <laughs> no, me, man. Come on. You're scaring them away from it. You gotta, no, no, that was, you gotta, I keep got, it down. I keep got, it down. I gotta wait until they them. bite. Right. Spooked him away. Spooked Tex Mambo away from the Gold Fury, but maybe baited them into a fight. Dash forward from Kha'Zix. As well as an Earthen Fury. It's a backpedal from the Oni Warriors. He's very alone. He's super, super alone. And it looks like that's how he'll die. Julio actually re-engages a couple of Runic Bombs. He should be and dead he too. forward. Down goes Sot. He's found Hawk. And Hawk is walled off once more. This is the opening. We wondered if the Oni Warriors he would find, through. and they found it. Two already for Net. Net has dashed over the wall. Sod lives. Still alive. Johnny needs one for Otto. No. He'll never find it. But Spudio gallops forward. And really, it's just a two for one. Only Warriors with a big fight. Lower health bars on Hex Mambo's side. And a good two kill swing for Netrioid. Man, SOT does so much in that team fight. I was talking about for the first 20 minutes, it's going to be Panatom chasing out Hawk every single time. How could I have forgotten? That SOT is just as capable on this Thor. Keeps Hawk isolated for the entirety of the team fight. Nearly sets up for the kill. That wall connects. <laughs> Understood. Only Warriors now can send their grouping to the right. Again, sometimes it's a team that not... They don't necessarily need the gold Ooh. lead. They just need some confidence. Awesome Jake, though. May have been caught out by Julio. Jake. 
Able to just wander away. Johnny That's has now gone it. back in. Johnny can't find the kill once more. Oh no. SOT is up in the sky. The dunk won't hit, but instead he's found a wall on the back of the fight. Sod with his first, just short of the second, but the rest of the Oni Warriors still have damage. Netrioids on a killing spree. Spot but Hawk trading blows with the rest of the Oni Warriors. Everyone's getting in the kill column. Another close fight, but another one kill advantage for the Oni Warriors. The Oni Warriors are getting so much value from their sustain, Dave. It's ridiculous. There is an Ankh on the side of Hex Mambo, but... Clearly, there needs to be more. Divine Ruin, sure. Let's get a Brawler's Beat Stick. Let's look for, towards some Contagions. Let's, let's make this healing go away for Hex Mamba because the Oni Warriors have just slipped out of so many of these engagements. Jake's living with sub-100 HP. Pagon's done it once or twice now as well. SOT survives for two ability rotations longer than I thought he would have. And the Oni Warriors, by thin margins once more, able to win out on the engagement. Pyromancer will go <laughs> into their pocket. Now, like, make sure that you're... It won't be easy to stop the Oni Warriors. Again, the longer a fight goes, the better it is for them. Panatom, are you in trouble in mid? Yes, but it's not the ultimate price that Panatom has to pay. Oh, goodness, Hawk. One more portal through. Titans Where's will be Sot in going? mid. Where's he going? Sot's going towards Spudio. It's good eyes from Yuma if I didn't catch it. Spudio's got to use his ult. One Warriors. They want this engagement. Sot gets beads away from Hawk. Hawk doesn't have his ultimate back. Oh, it's portal. Right into a Fearless from it's Julio. Close. Titan is going to go back to the Tier 2 tower over in mid. Gets a little bit of damage, but ultimately falls. Johnny and Panatom battling it out. Panatom's got a lot of damage for Johnny. Primal Fury for the Oni Warriors. Maybe Primal Fury reset. Titans come and go. Not much to be said on the map. But if nothing else... Double kin size will do that for you. Or perhaps you, you need to see a little bit more from Julio. He's had some good push. The Oni Warriors, they've taken their month break uh, of practice to, yeah. to really hone in on maybe their trigger discipline. Kha'Zix, bored of the pace of this game, dashes forward. That's a blink. Massive onk. Oh, Netrioid clipped by the Anis ultimate. Oni Warriors unhappy with the initial prospects of this fight. Out and away they go. Pick Kha'Zix so and the sick. rest of Hex Mambo starting to work down the Tier 1 tower. Root from Kha'Zix, but a wall from SOT. Reminds him which team is ahead. Sot has set the stage. And he might finish this fight as well. And Anvil double. Dawn gets double beads for a double kill. Good Lord. A triple kill from Sot. Runs him down. Are your eyes open now? Because the Oni Warriors have awoken at the end of Game 2. And it is the end of Game 2. And the end of Hex Mambo here at Masters. Pagon plays that perfectly, Dave. The dive was well executed by Hex Mambo. Every bit of CC found its way to Pagon, but Pagon had an answer each time. Oh, you've got a stun? I'll beads that one. Oh, Blink Fearless? I'll just ult to CC. I mean, that, I, I don't need the damage to kill you. And immediately afterward, once everything was expended, the Oni Warriors turn and burn every individual member. I mean, we always knew the Oni Warriors were going to be one of the...